I decided that I'm going to share a free app every day but it only lasts one day so you have to make sure that if you're going to download it you download it on the day that I put up the video. Look for the name of the app at the end of the video. Morning time. We wake up to see the print. Looks good from this side and from that side except the top portion did not print because the infill was so wide that the um, filament going across could not create what we call a bridge and so eventually it just failed which is sad because that is the very end of the print other than that though this measurement here I somehow got that wrong and so even if it would have finished this completely the metal black that we got would not fit in here so I recalculated, uh, remeasured, recreated the piece, and now I have to get it ready for printing. But <clears throat> we have to get going soon because today Cal is getting his second batch of vaccinations, which is about a month late because we weren't here during the time that we were supposed to get the vaccinations. We were in Florida, so this was the next available appointment. So we're a month behind. But it's not that big of a deal for him though. So I'm having a problem with the printer. It looks like there's a lot of uh, filament stuck in here. Which could be easily fixed if it weren't stuck up here. So I can't push it down. Also, the, this little thread right here that normally pushes the filament through. Is filled with dried filament. So I can't push any through until I clean this all out. Um, that shouldn't take too long because I could just take this piece off and use a metal brush. But getting the rest of the filament out of here, which right now I have it at a high temperature so that it melts out, it's just not coming down. So I was able to clean it out and it is working really well right now. Hopefully it stays this way. I was able to clean that out redo the 3D, get it to print, also finish doing the vlog for today because I have to get that done before I set the print. And uh, now we're just getting ready to take Cal to the doctor so that he can get his shots. So busy morning. In the car now on our way to Cal's appointment, but first we're going to pick up some breakfast from Pops. We are now at the clinic. Nina is a little sleepy. But I hope she sees the clinic before she falls asleep. And she'll probably just wake up when we get there. Oh, she got interested. Um, because I want her to remember that this place is okay. And that it's not her turn, it's her brother's turn. And just a bunch of psychological feeling all right about this place stuff. I dropped mommy off right in front so that she wouldn't have to walk all this way with Cal since he's so heavy. Simon and Angelica. Okay. Nina. Yeah, mommy. Hi. The baby. Yes, that's it's cow. Cow. He's sleeping. He's sleeping with cow. It's bye bye. Bye bye. He's sleeping. <laughs> bye bye. Too. That's what cow looks like before his shots. Cow. And this is what mommy looks like before cow's cow. shots. I'm outside again because mommy thought that Wednesday was spelled M-O-N-D-A-Y and put the appointment date on the wrong day so you have to come back on Wednesday say Wednesday Say Wednesday. Day. Wednesday. Day. When? Day. <laughs> Wednesday. She was saying it before. I wanted to get it on video for mommy because maybe it would help her. Guess where we are?
She said IKEA. What's that, Nina? M. M, yes. It's also a cookie. You like it? You like how it tastes? Bite, bite, bite. Bite her. Yes, good girl. Miss Nina has finished her letter N cookie and a rather big piece of cinnamon bun covered in glazed, actually she didn't have any glazed uh, sugar, uh, just a cinnamon bun with lots of cinnamon. <clears throat> but she's got that energy. You only put that like, once it goes to as is, then you take it off. <laughs> Senor Cal just woke up. Mr. Cal? Yes. <laughs> Though she is acting a little crazy I was considering my last statement about the cinnamon um, but I don't think the human body digests cinnamon Nina wanted her mommy but yeah I don't believe that cinnamon is metabolized by the body so it's probably not what's causing her um, her energy surge but it could be is that she was starting to fall asleep in the car and when I got her out to get here it interrupted her sleep and that usually makes her crazy so it might be that. Run! 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 <laughs> Ready? Go! Nina, what's that? What's that? I that. Arrow, yes. Center. You want to go find another arrow? Jerry Lynn Zarella. Let's go find another arrow. Who's in there, baby? Say hi, Nina. Not to me, say hi to the boy. <laughs> what is that? What's that? <laughs> Nina keeps making the dog try out different beds. I thought she wanted him to sleep, but now I see that she's just torturing him. Oh, she used the steps to get up there. Yeah, this is the second time, I missed it, but this is the second time she uses one of these step tools to get up on the bed. Maybe we should get one to make it easier for her. I mean, she can get up on her bed without a problem. And we have a step stool, never mind. Oh, but can she use it to get off? I don't know. She doesn't like it. Oh, she's funny. Cal is back from the bathroom. Oh, I have to clip his nails again. They grow so fast. <laughs> She's untrusting. Daddy, where's Nina? Where's Nina? Where's Nina? Where's Nina? Wanna turn it this way so I can see where Nina is? No, the other way. Nina. There she is. Nobody forgot about you. There she is. Ah, 
ba 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 ba. My sister asked if I can get her one of the moons that Nina has. So since we're at Ikea, I'll pick one up for her. She's gonna need a bulb though. I almost considered getting this right now for Nina, and it's only $17.99, so maybe I might get it. But I then noticed that this projection thing was pointing at it. And if you turn it off, it's actually quite boring. So you would have to buy them in conjunction, which seems like a waste. I mean, not just in uh, money of products, but also of electricity to have that running and this guy running, which is actually pretty heavy and feels hot. So I must use a, a lot more electricity than that one. Actually, I just realized I was looking at the wrong price. This one is $34.99, so definitely not worth it. This is how to get your kids to throw up. That little boy just brought this wagon over and as soon as he turned around, Nina stole it. Two. Share, Nina, share. Share, Nina, share. Like, no, I took it away fair and, and square. Run <laughs> away, run away from the broccoli. Dad. It comes with a grandma, a grandma that has been eaten. What is this, Nina? What is it? Daddy. It's a daddy. What is it? Cut, cut. Is it a duck? Say duck. Duck. Okay, what does the duck say? Good job, baby. Mom just discovered a sign on the car seat that Cal's been using that says that it can only be used for babies that are between 5 and 20 pounds. And I think he's over 20 pounds, so we're gonna have to check him. And if he is, we're gonna have to get a new car seat. Probably the same one that Nina has, because that one goes, I think, up to 60 pounds, and it's reversible. But I think they're gonna e both end up reversing them around the same time, because she's gaining weight slowly, and he's gaining weight very quickly. We're waiting for mom to finish feeding cow, and I keep walking around this kid's section and seeing that uh, mirror ball. I wonder how much it would cost me to make one instead of buying one. And I think I can get all of the parts I would need to make it. I believe these are shot glasses for babies. Hold on. It's the slowest one ever. Where's Nina? I'm gonna try to help make this more exciting. Ready? Say bye, Nina. Bye bye. Ooh, it's so fast. It's the fastest. It's the fastest ever. <laughs> I know it didn't feel fast, but when you watch the video later. Come on, baby. Nina. Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? 
Hello Kitty. She finds this as a perfect opportunity to stock up on goldfish. What would we do if we had that many goldfish? You only have like two at a time. With our shopping for now, including some Target shopping that we did for some food and stuff that we needed. And now we're gonna go home. And actually, I might drop by, pass by Rishi's house to drop off the parts that I bought because I believe he should be home by the time we get there. Mommy and I just had some lunch in the car by the park so we can look at something pretty even though there's a car in front of us. But we can see the park over there. And we're waiting for the weather to be nicer and warmer so that we can actually go to the park and play with the kids mm -hmm. and by ourselves and teach mommy how to do a cartwheel. We're back home and Nina is still sleeping. She's moving about a bit though. She fell asleep somewhere between 2 o'clock and 2.30 and it's about 3, 5 o'clock now. So either way, she's having a pretty good nap. And Cal is having his second lunch, afternoon lunch, early dinner. Ow. So the second print failed and I believe it's caused by the same problem because as I look here, I can see that there's a lot of filament that's stuck in this track, which means that this was trying to push the filament down, but it just wasn't going through. And if you take a look at the filament right there, it's a lot thinner. Oh, and it just broke off. It could just be that this fill. Oh, and look at that. There's a knot. And it, oh, it looks like this was a purposely tied knot at some point. Wow, that's very weird. So that's what caused it. Jeez. I cleaned out all of the uh, gear teeth there. This is still very thin, so I don't know how I'm going to pull that out. I'm probably gonna have to end up pushing it out from the bottom by sticking in one of the uh, metal wires that I have to just push that out. But this is the second time that this particular filament has caused major problems with my print. Uh, the first time was partially my fault because I'd left it out for so long that it went brittle. But this time it had a knot right here, which is about three quarters of the way through with the filament. Because it used to come all the way out here, it used to be pretty full. Um, and I believe that that, I don't know if that was done on purpose at the factory where they made this, or there was some type of machine error, but it was tied in. So I don't see how the machine could have t done that. So it's definitely... Uh, something went wrong there. Anyways, I'm going to set this print up for the third time and hopefully get it to print successfully this time. Getting the filament that was stuck in there out was not that difficult. Um, luckily, I was able to just get it out with uh, my flush cutters instead of cutting it, just using it as a grip and pulling it out from the top. And it came out pretty easily. But now it seems that I have a blockage inside the uh, ceramic heater so I'm trying to get a pin down through there but there's so much of a blockage that I can't get it through so I put the pin in through the bottom and because it's metal it's heating up so that's gonna allow me to push it through since the metal gets hot it'll melt right through the plastic that's in that's blocking the ceramic piece so I was able to heat up that pin enough so that it pushes through and I pushed it through to the top after it was heated, so cleared it out. The nice thing about this plastic is that it smells good. I shouldn't be sniffing it. I'm not sniffing it. All right, started a new print. Just like before, everything is looking beautiful. Hopefully it'll keep working this way. Cal is practicing his eating of tigers. <coughs> to help with Cal's teething, mommy took a frozen apple slice and put it inside this little mesh uh, teether and Cal has been going at it 
for a while now. Violently. Violent. Well, not that violently. But he really likes it. Yeah, very nice. The print is about halfway through, everything good so far, except that it pulled up on the corners here, so the corners are going to be kind of rounded up, but that won't make too much of a difference for what we need, so I'm not too worried about it, but that is definitely something that I want to fix in the future. Nina finally woke up and she's really groggy. She took a three and a half hour nap. Maybe more, actually. Sophie. Nina, Nina tortures the animals and then Cal eats them. So this is actually so curved it might be problematic. I'm going to let it finish printing just so that we have this one already printed. But after it's done we're going to build another one with a raft underneath to see if that helps to prevent this problem. Now the reason that this happens at all is because as the lower uh, plastic cools down and the next layer of plastic is coming on top the one that's hotter is more expanded than the ones that are underneath cooling and if the bottom cools faster than the top and then it anything that cools down will shrink a little bit but because there's a bunch of layers that are all shrinking a little by little it kind of pulls it up so with the strength of every layer that exists and that right now has 39 layers so there's 39 layers of force pulling on that as it cools down Creating those discs is supposed to help or completely prevent the problem and printing with a raft is also supposed to help or completely prevent the problem so we'll see how that goes. Okay, Daddy's turn. Daddy's turn. Good job, Nina. <laughs> Did it Oh, never mind. Never mind. You didn't hear her? She just said it. She said, oh, never mind. Have yeah. like a bow. Yeah. Never mind. Never mind. Nina. Nina's practicing being a cow. Do it, Nina, do it. Be a cow. Ah, mama. Bang, bang the star. Hit the star. Whoa. And Cal, as you can see with it by his booties, is practicing being Nina, except he's not mobile enough to run around, pull everyone's hair, and scream. So here's the print. The curve on the bottom is quite severe, especially on the back left, if you look at it from here. Oh. The problem with it just, you know, looking bad is also that this part in the front got curved in the corner as well. And that's going to make the metal plaque not fit. So, I guess we're not going to use this. I'm going to print another one. Another three and a half hours of printing. Nina is officially 21 months. One hour and fifteen minutes old. Happy birthday, Nina. Happy twenty one month birthday. She doesn't care.
just noticed that our little girl didn't make her poop today. Didn't make poop today, baby. Whoa! You almost fell, baby. Daddy's here to catch you. I don't know if I mentioned this, but when we were in Florida, I saved her from being hit on the head by a, uh, a curtain rod, a bathroom curtain rod that um, slipped because it was up kind of loosely and maybe like four inches from when it was about to hit her head, I put my hand in the way and I caught it with the top of my fingers. Um, and it hurt a little, but I didn't feel anything compared to the relief of it not hitting her head. She got really scared though because it was very noisy. It's not the first time I've seen her. It's not the same first time. Not the last time either. A moon. Mommy suggested that we put her in a footies pajama. Hopefully this works out. She sleeps through the night. I mean, she's doing. She's been doing all right recently. She's had like one or two bad nights, but most of the nights have been all right. Yeah, buzz, buzz. buzz. Nice. How about you? Nice, stay nice. Yes, he's nice. Can you buzz, buzz? He can sound like a cork. He can. A pop, 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 pop. No. The last print, the third print, third times a charm. Uh, is looking really good. It's right about to finish, it has two layers left. Good night, Nina. Good night, Cal. We love you. Bye. So today is March 24th, Wednesday of 2015. And today's app is the Sunny Sleep Relax Meditation app. It's normally $2.199 and today it's free. So if you want to listen to some relaxing beach sounds and 3D stereoscopic sound, download it for free today.